This is an introduction to Pipeline. Pipeline is the student portal for Harding University and Harding School of Theology students. And you will use this to access a lot of things, including your email and Canvas, things like that. And there are at least a couple of ways to access Pipeline on Harding. One is to come to Students. And then in the sidebar, email, registration, grades. And then, of course, right here, access pipeline. If you have never activated your Harding student credentials, you'll want to start by going to student access and click on activate my account. If you ever have password issues or things like that, there is no one at Harding School of Theology who can help you with that. Uh, you'll need to contact the Support for Students desk and let them know that you're a student uh, from the School of Theology or the Memphis campus. And there, sometimes there's a special person that you'll work with on that, but they'll help you. You can activate your account first to uh, get your credentials. To enter Pipeline, go to Login and enter your username, which your username is your email address, uh, username minus the at harding.edu. I am MR Carter. And then type your password. And you will come to Pipeline. A couple of things to note here in Pipeline. First, this icon is Canvas. Canvas is our learning management system. And so each of your classes, each of your courses, will have a Canvas uh, classroom, so to speak. And that's where you will turn in assignments. Often the professor will have uh, reading assignments there or videos or images that, that are a part of the class. And sometimes there will be class discussions. So Canvas is um, going to be something you'll use quite a bit. And there is a video introduction to Canvas as well. This Google G is the Google Suites, and so Harding email is run through Google Suites. It is an education uh, address, so they are not allowed to mine your data as they would with your Gmail. But through Google Suites, of course, you'll access email, your Google Calendar, uh, your Google Drive. You can have, use Google Photos and so many other things with it as well. Also at the top here is this search bar. This search bar is really convenient. So it, it, if you are looking for uh, things such as how to register, you will find uh, information about registration there or wondering what your grades are. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to see that there as well. You're also able to search for people in the search box as well. I'm not going to do that because I am a staff member, I get access to information that you don't, and I don't want to put anybody's address up there. All right, so an important part of Pipeline is going to be the student area here. And let me just alert you that a lot of the things on Pipeline are related to the Searcy campus and not to the Memphis campus. So things like chapel are not for, the, for our chapel. We don't have seat selection or housing status, or these mission trips, the testing lab, or residence life, or uh, registrar forms. All of those are related to the Searcy campus, or meal plans there. Just a lot of these are, and uh, withdrawing or dropping a class. Those are not for our campus. Things that you will use here, if you are making online payments, uh, you can do that through CashNet. Your grades here, you can view your grades. Your account summary, uh, your financial aid information. If you would like, you can get a Microsoft Office account, a, a free student account. And then this My Classes, this is going to be important for you. When you click My Classes Registration, you'll register through Enter Schedule here. And there is a, uh, another video that shows you how to do that. But again, adding and dropping classes, we don't do that through uh, Pipeline after the, uh, or using that system or after the first couple of weeks of class. So 
make sure and pay attention and orientation to learn the proper way to do those things. You'll see that when you click on something, uh, for example, if I wanted to click on account summary, there's a little star here and that makes it a favorite. Up at the top here, you see favorites and there's account summary. If there are parts that you use a good bit in the system, you can favorite them for easy access like that uh, My Classes registration. There's a lot of good information here, I think, and Pipeline is very useful. But if you have questions and aren't sure what to do, you can email me at mrcarter at hst.edu. I'd be glad to help you as much as I can. Or you can give me a call. You probably have my number, and I would be glad to help you. Again, Pipeline is an important thing that you will use a lot in your Harding School of Theology career. And so hopefully this introduction helps you figure out how to use it a little bit. God bless you. Bye-bye.